couple of hours, we will really delve into individual development, upper left, how the self develops. And I will, I, the frame for the time is the following. First, I tell you what we're going to do. Then I will advocate this particular theory in the sense of what I find about it to be particularly profound and powerful. There are other theories about the self, but I will advocate the benefits of this one. Then we will have an illustration, an exercise that you do with me. And then we have, hopefully, if you're still energetic enough to want to do that, at the end we'll have a good uh, space time for Q&A, the inquiry part. Okay, so, Bert, thank you for the introduction, already mentioned that my work basically is built on Laryngeus. And when I first came, just a brief history of why I'm here and why I did this. When I first came to this country, I went to Harvard to get a degree, an American degree, because my foreign linguistics degree didn't count. Um, and it's the other way, like every county is protective of its degrees, it's not unique to the US. Anyway, I met there, I met the theory, and this theory was like, oh my god, it, it explains everything I couldn't explain to myself. I had hunches about it, but I, I couldn't explain it, and it fit perfectly with a linguistic approach, because its main tool is a test. The LDP, we call it now SETI map, but it's a tool that measures the altitude of a person, the center of gravity of a person, and it's entirely based on semantics, on how people speak. And that was such a perfect match of my interest that I said, I, I love this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to become a scorer. And as soon as I became a scorer, I saw the limits of the theory at the upper end. It just sort of fizzled. So I took it upon myself to say, I have some clarity, I have some sense, I can figure this out, the patterns beyond what Lavinia had, and started collecting the very rare da data. As always, you have a distribution curve, and the upper end and the lower end. In adulthood, there are far fewer people inhabiting it, so it was actually hard to get the data. And typical Swiss style, I was perfectionistic about it. It took me 15 years to feel I had enough data. <laughs> I made some predictions in 1985, but I hadn't actually you know, tested it at all. It was just sort of on what I had seen. And finally, in 1999, I wrote my, finished my dissertation, which was basically testing all the theoretical assumptions that I made, all the things I thought I had seen, for good reason, because if anybody can invent a theory, and unless other people can see the territory, the map, in a similar way than you, if then you do, if it's not useful, then it's just somebody's wild imagination, so it needed to be tested. Excuse me. And the test results were beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> My statistician, since I don't see very well, did it for me and I couldn't believe how, how great the agreement was. And the people who I trained to score with my criteria were starting with late conventional to early post-conventional, so it was possible. And that kind of data uh, came, became aware of, and there is very little data out there. And he invited me also to be part of the Integral Institute at its founding stage. And that's how our relationship has developed. And so now I will introduce the stages to you. I do that a lot by having the material already have, you can read up on it a bit. I give you diagrams, but I also give you visuals because I want you to tell me what strikes you and I want the hope that the insights come from you so that I don't just feed them to you and that's the exciting part. I'm totally visual. Um, 
I have learned a lot and I will show you, I'm a paper cutter by, uh, as an art form. I'm actually a, in the guild of American paper cutters and much of what I figured out came from doing that was using a pair of scissors and cutting holes in the paper. So I will use that as well to talk. And now comes the real challenge for me, which is um, technology. <laughs> This is basically, as you can see from the four quadrant, the left, upper left, and I'm talking about this theory of the leadership development framework or of ego development. The two are now parallel. When Bill Torbert first did his theory, he based it on Lovinger, on Keegan, on whatever he could find in his own experience in the business world. So the theories match very, very well up to the very latest stages. The alchemist and the ironist I see a little bit differently because I have a much different sample from which I actually drew my conclusions. But they're not incompatible, they're just slightly different emphasis. And these are the names he invented in order to make the ego development theory more compatible to the business world. Because if you say conscientious and those kinds of words, self-aware, it just autonomous, it just didn't quite get the attraction, the traction he needed. So, so we'll use both terms. Who was the he? Sorry. He, Bill Torbert from Boston College. And he wrote the, uh, just recently another good book that all of you were in the coaching, training, developing people business might want to have a look at. It's called just action inquiry. And like saying this field book, it has exercises and things that are useful to do with people in order to support them in their growth. If you look at the overall theory, I just chose one particular map of it. You have two sides. Uh, one is the left side, and we're talking here about pre-conventional and conventional development up to the cheaper stage four, if you look at that. And then in this particular uh, theory, the watershed is there, not like in spiral dynamics, and sometimes when Wilbur emphasizes the autonomous stage, that's another watershed. I'm looking at the development of the self. So on the left side, from the early, early stages where the baby is completely fused with the mother, it slowly learns to differentiate level by level. First, it learns to differentiate his own body. It learns to differentiate, hey, this toe you know, belongs to, first, it doesn't even know that, uh, which toe belongs to it. If you ever seen a baby suck its, its toe? just sort of play with it. The baby does not have a sense, but that feedback eventually gives him a sense of his or her own body. What a train, major thing, look, just look on American television. That sense that I have control over my body, that's part of that differentiation growth. And then it, we assume everything goes well, and then we get into adulthood, and there are at least three stages people go through, and I will go through them with you. The diplomat, the expert, and the achiever stage. And the development is always towards greater differentiation on this side of the chart. More and more differentiated, more and more aware of oneself as a separate human being. What Keegan calls the self-authoring self would be the achiever. And then we have this shift away from that. When, when all the boundaries are in place, I know I'm here, my boundaries there, you're over there. There's a, a shift towards the internal and becoming aware of how we actually create these distinctions. And the slow, slow deconstruction, taking away of those boundaries, still at the other, very other end, there is this sense of communion with everybody else again. 
but it's of course a fundamentally different kind of union than the unconscious oceanic merging of the baby with its environment. This is now a conscious union. So ego development theory describes how you get from one place to the next and what each place, what its triumphs are and what its sorrows are. And ideally you can imagine, we talked about all the lines, the self system is the one, the ego is the, the place where in ourselves all the stimuli, both from within and from without, get uh, bundled together, get integrated. So the ego has two functions. It's that one function is basically the metabolizing one. And it has another function, namely to create an identity. And ego development theory speaks about both, but we will go through the changing of what my identity is. How do I answer the question, who am I at these different levels?